Like, low-key, when you think about it, LFM low-key is saving ACC, bro. I'll be real, like, some of the stuff that I heard, like, what goes on behind the scenes, I don't really respect it too much, man. Because I'm, like, I'm hearing that, like, um, certain esports teams, they're doing the majority of the, of the testing, and, you know, if you're an esports team, then you've got an invested interest in, in what cars faster, so you can really just... <laughs> not put 100% into your laps and pretend that a car isn't that fast and then you know when the SRO esports events come up you pick the car that supposedly is not that great or whatever or supposedly doesn't need to be nerfed or whatever and then it gets to the SRO event and you just end up destroying it and that's what happens man you know, some of these top teams they're not they, they, they hide what cars they know are OP just because they know they can get a really fast time in another car on a one-off lap but they know the real deal you know that's why you see like it's always it just always feels unbalanced at the moment i can't remember the last time acc had like a, a quality bop bro it's been way too long way 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 too long look at all the cars now that are practically like unusable you got the bentley's totally unusable the honda i mean it's had maybe one or two tracks where it's up there but for the majority of tracks now is just completely dead. The Lexus is completely dead. Um, the Porsche is okay at some tracks, but you know what I mean, it's, it doesn't really stand out anymore. For me, I've always said there needs to be about five cars that are within a couple of attempts on the majority of tracks, and we haven't got that for for ages, bro. The, the Audis, uh, people saying the Audis like. OP right now, but you have to drive it with no TC, and ain't no one trying to do that apart from the top guys. And I, like, I see, I see the Audi, the McLaren, um, the Lambo at some tracks as well. Yes, you got a couple of tracks where the Ferrari is good, but a lot of the time, these tracks are not. It's not the same tracks. These these cars will be good at different tracks so on each of these tracks you're still getting like an overwhelming amount of cars same 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 spec cars at the front you know it's no point like the ferrari being good at flipping say it's good at spa and i don't know mazano like say it's really good at those two tracks but around all the other tracks it's three four temps off then what's the point i mean it's it's, it's annoying man Makes it kind of boring to watch as well. What was that last SRO race that? Uh, was it? I can't remember. I remember. I think McCormack pitted early and ended up coming out in the lead. I think it was Spa, and it was literally just a bunch of AMGs racing each other. It's like, bro, this. What is this, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, what is this? I'm bored. I'm bored already. <clears throat> but if they're doing BOP servers, I like it. I like it a lot. I wonder, is it just for the the tracks that are on? Right, so they're doing it only for the tracks that are on the Pacific calendar for that week. Okay, that's cool. I personally think they should just have all tracks up. Have they got all tracks up? Is it Fulton Park? Oh, maybe they do have all tracks up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I... I suppose AOR kind of does the same with their hot lap servers, but I don't know. I don't know why. Um, actually, let's look at the AOR hot lap servers. I don't know why. Who knows? Don't use that. Uh, they don't use the information. So if we wouldn't know 1.9.5. So let's go, Barstow. Let's have a look. See what see what their mixture is. Bro, come on. This is what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way. This is what I am talking about, bro. This can't be for real, bro. Wow. <laughs> what is this, man? Bro, what is this? Bro, how can... What's that? One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The top 17 cars are all Ferraris, fam. What? <laughs> Where's the BOP in this game? I swear. That's crazy, man. And you know it's for real because the top, what, well, the top, Pretty much everybody up until Malinowski, I don't know who this guy is, I won't lie. But I know the rest of these dudes. Everyone else is an esports driver, bro. These are like pretty much the fastest guys in the game. Like, come on. You know? We got Boothby, we got Sherat, these guys are in the 41. Like, this what's Is the Honda really the next that can't be the next quickest at a 42-5? Surely that's bullshit. Let me see who's done the fastest times in the other cars. Bischoff. Bischoff is fast. I guess maybe there is some guys who probably could get a couple of attempts faster, but still. Half a second. Four attempts. Um, Tinko. You have to say Tinko is probably going to be able to get the maximum out of the Honda or get within a tenth of the maximum. And he's six tenths off the Ferrari. <laughs> but that's insane do you know what i like to look at the best thing to look at is when the same driver has done yeah look tinko he's done a 42-0 in the ferrari and then in the honda he's done a 42 like he's literally half a second off of his own time you know what i mean when is she, when you're racing against yourself there shouldn't be any there's no discrepancy in time that is what you can do in that car and that car literally means it's half a second off Half a second is massive. And it's even bigger when you take it into a sprint race. And it's even bigger when you take it into an endurance race. That is actually tragic. Jesus Christ. AMG 42.6. This guy is normally in a Lambo, isn't he? He's only... Damn. Where's Trevor Wenham in the Lambo? Also 42.6. And I believe he's got a 42.1. So again, half a second. We're seeing the same things pretty much. It's, it's half a second gap between some of these cars. This is just, this is just Catalonia. So, wow. Well, well, let's try, what's, what's Baffer saying? Audi. No way. Luke Whitehead did a 57.6. Is that right? Did it? What's he done here? No, someone must have pushed him down that back straight, bro. <laughs> Someone's pushed him down the back straight is what I'm seeing here. Because he's like nine temps quicker. Obviously, someone... I reckon they, I reckon they did the... um. They did the old uh, Ferrari challenge. I think they've done it again where they've... I think they did something like this around Paul Ricard down the straight. They got a Ferrari challenge car to bump draft him down the straight. So yeah, he's not he's not gaining nine temps, bro. So we'll, we'll exclude that time because it's bullshit. But even so, if you take away that, pretty much every all the fastest times are in a in a in an Audi. I get it's only three temps, but he is three temps faster than his own time in the McLaren. Then you got AMG. But it's pretty clear to see what car is the fastest. So again, we got a, another track where just one car is dominating. Um, one car dominates the timesheets. Let's go to Brands Hatch. We've got a bit more of a mix. Now I need to put it on the right patch. Lambo, Lambo. Ferrari, Lambo. McLaren. I thought the McLaren would be quicker here. Actually, McLaren's up there. So you, three cars, I guess. You could say. Go to Circuit of the Americas. One of my favorite tracks. I haven't driven it in ages. But now AMG 2036. I didn't expect to see AMG, to be honest. Um see if has Tinko done another time he has oh that's well off 
No, that can't be right. Who's this Alan Set guy? Who's this? Alien Set. Who is this guy, bro? I don't like the way he's written his name. <laughs> Where's the punctuation, bro? Small letters and that. I can't, I can't, I can't look at this guy. Tinko. He's well faster in the AMG in his own time. That's interesting. Let's see if there's anybody else who's done two times. That's a pretty big gap, though. There's a pretty big gap to his own lap time, man. That's crazy.